Hi, one forum news brings you the best. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. Your comments and your likes will be highly appreciated. We are busting out straight forward to Nigeria, specifically Delta State, to take a look at how four senior military officers, as well as 12 other soldiers, were killed in action in a community in Delta State, Nigeria. We are talking about two communities who were involved in a communal violence or clash. That's the youth group of those two communities. We are talking about Okoma as well as Okoloba communities. They are all located in Delta State. On that fateful day, that is Thursday, March 14, 2024, the soldiers received distress call that they are supposed to come and settle dispute between two communities. That's the youth group. So they went there, as usual, as good citizens and those that are supposed to ensure security in those two communities. When you talk about Delta State, it's a bit volatile when it comes to security. So for them to be able to ensure that there is peace in that community, soldiers have been stationed. That is, we are talking about one 8-1 battalion. They are stationed in that community or not far away from those two communities. And it was alleged that it was a communal violence over land dispute. Most often than when you talk about fight or conflict between two communities, it's either about land or something or natural resources. And in this very one, it has been alleged that it is a land dispute that the two communities were involved. So the soldiers moved in and they were led by their commanding officer. We are talking about commanding officer. So the commanding officer was killed Two of his majors were also killed, as well as a captain and 12 other ranks, that is other soldiers. That is very serious. For a commanding officer to be killed in an action, that is so demoralizing because we are talking about the leader, the leader of the group. And if you are going somewhere, your leader is gunned down or taken down. It's not an easy thing. And I know very well that in this situation, some civilians will also be members of the casualties, but they are, nothing has been reported about them because I don't think that the soldiers will just stand aloof and allow the civilians. They were killed by civilians. They were not killed by uh, terrorists or whatever. They were killed by civilians, allegedly. That is the report we are getting. But it's so sad that something like this should happen to a Nigeria military. And we are talking about commanding officer. That's Colonel and above. That's the commanding officer because there's two majors also in his, his battalion. So we are talking about the colonel and above. And the captain also. They all went down as a result of just moving into settle a dispute between or among uh, people who are civilians. This is so serious. It, could it be that there was some security lapses somewhere or failure of intelligence? Because this may seem to be an ambush, but what the report is saying is they were surrounded by the community members. Maybe they did not foresee that these people are likely to attack them and this sad incident happened. But I will not blame them so much because when it comes to situations like that, you know very well that you are with people that you are supposed to protect. So most often than not, you underrate that is allegedly, you underrate what they will do to you because you see them as one of you. But the fact is, the intelligence gathering is very important. They must know that something like that is likely to happen when the intel intelligence is very effective. But mostly, this thing is happening to Nigeria soldiers and it must not be happening because once the citizens, that's the civilians, are able to overpower the military, then that's the end of it because the military is the last resort. Is the last resort. But the question some of us may like to ask when it comes to security is, at least the police should be invited in to sort things out because they know how to control mob here and there. How come the military have to be called in first and they move in? Could it be that it was a counter attack from the people? No one knows. No one is reporting about either the soldiers also fired at them or anything. Nobody is reporting about that. And nobody also know about the people, the casualty from the civilians because it's very strange that 12 soldiers armed soldiers, commanding officer, two majors, who one of them is likely to be the two I see, that the second in command, as well as a captain being gunned down and no civilian casualty will be recorded. That would be so strange. But that is the report that we are all hearing, that four of the senior army officers were gunned down. Now let's look at all these things. The, the, that's the, the, the chief of defense staff, right in the headquarters, that the HQ of the military, the, the armed forces of Nigeria, he is now saying that they will probe this issue. There is a need for probing, but what the civilians in that community, innocent civilians, it could be that those that even took part in the thing may be at large now, though some of them were arrested. But the innocent civilians, please, it's likely that there will be a counter attack in that community. I'm not asking you to, to flee or to run away, but you have to be very careful when a soldier is killed in a community or a military officer is killed in a community all over Africa, not only in Nigeria, all over Africa and even elsewhere. When a soldier is attacked or gunned down by a civilian, they know very well that it's a given community. There is surely going to be a reprisal attack from the soldiers or from the military. 
they may decide to forgive and forget the proof they are calling for, they will do it. But it shouldn't be the case that a soldier, that is a whole commanding officer, we are talking about Colonel Nabab to be gunned down whilst his boys were with him. That is so sad. That is so sad. And gradually, the civilian is trying to overpower the military of Nigeria. That is the case of the top brass of the military in Nigeria to talk about. Not us. That is not of my business. But us, an analyst, someone that would like to analyze the security situation in Nigeria, I think there is a serious breakdown. The military need to sit up. There are instances that the military is also able to overpower the civilian. We are not talking about overpowering, but let the negotiation be so clear and so understanding that your own people that you are supposed to protect will not be against you. It could be that there, there were some bad notes in the system, allegedly, that carried out this ambush. This is more or less like an ambush because 12 soldiers, we are talking about armed soldiers, as well as commanding officer and two majors and a captain. This is serious. And the Nigerian military need to sit up. I know they are going to act. They will do their own way. General Lagbaja, I know you are there. General Lagbaja, I know you are there. Please let your boys be always serious when they enter territories that are not order safe. Because most of them, it could be that this is allegedly, it could be that they relax, maybe after talking to the people, they, th they think that, or they thought that the people are be certain and decide to relax. No. Everywhere that you go, you have to be a combatant. You have to be alert and ready for anything. We don't know the civilian casualties. We don't know anything on them. And no one is reporting about that. But definitely, for 12 soldiers, as well as four officers to be gunned down, killed in action, it definitely there may be some casualties when it comes to the civilians, but nobody is reporting about that. We know very well the human rights people will come in. Yes, that is very perfect. But General Christopher Amusa, that's the chief of defense staff, please let your people protect themselves everywhere they go. They shouldn't go to places, dangerous places, without the necessary armor or necessary protection for themselves because they also have families. Yes, they have families. There are all instances or many instances that the military uh, use heavy hand on the civilians. We are here to talk about it and we definitely condemn things like that. But for your men to be ambushed, it's an indictment on you yourself. That is it. You are the commanding officer. And when you talk about vicarious liability, no matter what, there may be a battalion of 181 battalion resided in or based in Delta State. But they are still under your command. Anything that happened to you, an attack on any of your boys, an attack on you. That is where General Christopher Musa, Amusa, you have to act. We need our people and our soldiers alive. Though something may happen once a while. They always say that they are there to die for their country, but not in this tragic way. They need to sit up and work hard. They should abandon and leave their phones when it comes to operations like this. They should leave their phones and be alert. A security man or a soldier is not supposed to be so much buried with a phone whilst in action. That is not what I'm saying that that was what happened. But there are a lot of lawsuits these days that you see. Some of those things allegedly may just be as a result of quote unquote action or inaction on the part of someone over there. But this is a serious security as well as intelligent failure. Because for civilians to get them to this point, commanding officer, two majors, a captain, as well as four soldiers, is not an easy thing. And just for the record, when we talk about 12 soldiers, we are talking about other ranks, from WO, sergeant, corporal, and what have you, private, down, going down. Those are the soldiers. That's how it's all, we, we always say it. We talk about officers, that's four men and two soldiers, or whatever it is, based on what they are described. But in this instance, four senior officers, commanding officer, two majors, as well as captain, including 12 other soldiers were gunned down by civilians. They went to the, these two communities to settle land disputes allegedly, and they were killed. Sad. May their humble souls rest in perfect peace. But the headquarters at the HQ of the Nigeria Armed Forces. Please sit up so that your boys should not be always overpowered in this way. We wish you all the best. Please, for more on analysis like this, kindly subscribe to this channel. One forum news for the best when it comes to security, crime, when it comes to policies of Africa and historical antecedents, we are here to bring you the best. Your comments and your likes will be highly appreciated. Always be in touch with us. Thank you so much.